Good afternoon, students. Okay, so uh, today uh, we are going to start a new chapter from English one. That is from English one. From your book, Footprints Without Faith. Question of trust. We will start a new chapter. A question of trust. So, Good afternoon, Prana. Okay, so just write your real name. Okay, good afternoon, students. Good afternoon, Sonal, Devraj, Beauty. Good afternoon. Okay, so I think everyone is there. Everyone is present, isn't it? Okay. So we will start a new chapter today. And uh, that is a question of trust. Good afternoon. You just write your own name, okay? Uh, is there a father's name is coming, so just write your own name so can I can recognize you. Okay, okay, so let's start our classes. Yeah, so everyone's here, so can I start it? I will start the explanation. So, uh, we have already completed one chapter yesterday. I hope everyone has understood the chapter about the tiger in the zoo. Okay, Shita, good morning. Good morning, good morning everyone. Good afternoon. Not good morning, good afternoon. Okay. So, uh, now we will start this chapter of question of trust. Okay. We know what the meaning of trust is, isn't it? Trust means bharosa, yeah? Okay. So, uh, here, this is a very interesting story. Uh, and at, there is a little bit suspense at the end of the story, okay? So when you will read why, as you will read the story, you will just understand what the suspense is. Okay. So um, here it, it is actually a question. It is actually uh, related with a question of trust written by Victor Canning. Okay. Here uh, it is said uh, we can say that there is a saying. Okay. There is a well-known saying about the thieves. We know thieves, isn't it? We know it is related with the this, the story is related with thieves. Uh, so here it is said that you must set a thief to catch a thief. Like to catch a thief, we have to set another thief. Okay? But to catch a thief, we need to set another thief. Good afternoon, Rajat. I can say everyone. So good afternoon, everyone at once. I have told everyone good afternoon. Okay? Uh, so here it is. there is a well-known saying that, it is say, uh, that you must set a thief to catch a thief. To catch one thief, you have to set a thief. Like an example I can give you, you have seen the movie Dhoom, isn't it? There we have seen that uh, Vishet Bachchan who is actually a police and we have here two thieves here as Ashwarya Rai and this uh, Vipi Kroshan, yeah? So we can see here that how Vishet Bachchan make a plan of catching Vipi Kroshan uh, Vipi Kroshan with the help of Ashwarya Rai. Ashwarya Rai, she is also a thief. Yeah, that is an example. Like this is that that uh, this uh, line, you must set a thief to catch a thief. It's matched with that story, that film, that movie, uh, Doom. Here, where we can say that uh, our police officer, he actually set, uh, he planned the trick with the plan and he set uh, Ashwarya Rai. He take the help of Ashwarya Rai to catch with the Russian. 
So as she uh, should write, she was of also thief, and uh, to catch Rithik, he has actually make a plan with uh, taking help of Ashwarya Rai. So similarly, that uh, this uh, line it just suit in that movie. So here it is said that we have here two well known saying. It is said that you must set a thief to catch a thief. Okay, to catch a thief, you have to set a thief. And also there is one more saying, but it is also said that there is honor among thieves. And it is also said that they, uh, the thieves, they have some uh, respect to each other. That means they never betray each other. Thieves, thieves, no, like brother and brother, like, like that only. Uh, so when there are two or three thieves, they have some respect to each other. They have, uh, they do not actually betray each other. Now, which saying does this story illustrate? Now, as we have two saying here, now after reading the story, after knowing the story properly, then only we can actually uh, tell which line, which saying from this two saying actually refers to this story. If it is the first line, a first saying or the second saying. So let's start, okay? So now, we will have here uh, almost uh, two characters. First, actually, we are giving much more importance here to the uh, character Horace than by. Okay, so I will just read it out line by line. If you have any doubts, you just write in the comment section. Okay, I can. Can I start now? Take out your book, page number twenty. It is on page number twenty. If you already have the book. Okay, so I will read it and I will explain line by line. So now. Everyone thought that Horace Danby was a good, honest citizen. He was about 50 years old and unmarried. And he lived with a housekeeper who worried over his health. In fact, he was usually very well and happy except for attacks of hay fever in summer. He made locks and was successful enough at his business to have two helpers. Here, yes, Horace Danby was good and respectable but not completely honest. So now here, as everyone thinks, everyone thinks that everyone in the society where Horace Denby actually lives, everyone thinks that he is a very he was a good and honest citizen. He was a good person. He was an honest citizen. And he was almost uh, 50 years old and he was unmarried. He has not married yet. And he actually lived with a housekeeper. Okay. Yes. Good afternoon, Samir. And he lived with a housekeeper. He has one helper in his house uh, who helped him in his works and all, who worried over his health. And the housekeeper, the one who actually helped him in his household work, he always worried about his uh, master's health. And why actually he worried about his master's health? In fact, he was usually very well and happy except for attacks of hay fever and summer. But in this Horace Danby, he is very well and happy person he was a very healthy person but only he has one problem so he has uh, some attacks and ha has hay fever in summer attacks means it is not like attack one but it is like an allergic problem he has one allergic problem he uh, like in the summer people have dust allergy people have allergy with uh, many things it's not allergy with flowers and all but here has a horace can be he has allergy with flower a kind of flower and he cannot tolerate the uh, fragrance of that flower. He cannot tolerate. And whenever he uh, recognizes the scent of that flower, he has to sneeze every time. He has some allergic care. So that problem he has. And other than that, Horace Denver, he was a healthy person. So and that's why the, sir, the one who actually helps him, him, him in his household work, he used to worry about his health. Okay? He made locks and was successful, successful enough at his business to have to help us. And this Horace Denby, he was a lock maker. He, well, he actually, he is a very successful lock maker. His business, whatever his business was, it was in very a good progress. He was actually doing his work very properly. And he has actually, he was actually successful lock maker. Okay. And also he has two helpers with him who help him in making the locks. Yes, Horace Denby, Denby was good and respectable. Yes, we can say that Horace Denby was good and respectable. But many people may think that Horace Denby was an honest person. But actually, that is not true. 
though he is a good person, he is a respectable one because his uh, appearance, his nature among the society is different. Okay, People know him as a good person. Yes, of course, he is a good, good person, but he cannot be it cannot be a completely called uh, cannot be called as a completely honest person he was not at all honest person okay though he his uh, image in the society was good but he was not that good as the society people thinks about him clear everyone the first paragraph so that i can go to the second one okay so after that now what happened? 15 years ago, Horace had served his first and only sentence in a prison library. Now he's thinking about 15 years ago. Okay? We are thinking about 15, what happened with him 15 years ago. So what happened with him? Horace Danby, he was given a punishment and he was sent in the prison. And why he was sent in the prison, we will come to know later on in the story. Because actually why he was... Uh, <coughs> sent in the pr prison and uh, when he was actually he was sent in the prison but there he was given a particular area like in the prison also <coughs> whatever the criminals also have some kind of work they get some kind of work in the prison though they cannot um, uh, they cannot move on uh, freely anywhere but okay, good afternoon Sanita good afternoon everyone uh, so uh, the reply is coming on. So don't think that I'm not uh, uh, replying in your wishes and all, okay? So uh, 15 years ago, he has got a punishment. He has got a punishment. He has he was sent to the prison. But there he has got an opportunity to stay and to just manage a library. Okay, library in the prison also. Now he loved, actually he loved. And from that day on, there only he had one... Um, very good uh, like liking for books from uh, when he was actually sent to the prison in, in the library uh, prison and he was given an opportunity to manage uh, the library there so from that day onwards he had a liking for uh, to read the books he loved rare and expensive books he loved very rare book that is that is very uh, um, like difficult to find it an expensive one very expensive books okay very uh, that are very costly one okay so he loved rare and expensive books so he robbed the safe every year and because as he has created a love for reading love of uh, reading the books and all and that is also very expensive book and of course uh, for which he could not even afford that much money okay so for to, for that he has to rob a safe every year safe means like you can say tijori and all no tijori people rich people what they have they have safe where they actually keep all their money all their jewelry and all okay so now here he robbed the safe every year every year he make a plan he make very well prepared plan and all and then he used to rob a safe every year and why he actually robbed because he need books he loves reading books and books also not the uh, every kind of book yes you can yes david you can say treasure also so he loved rare and expensive books. So for that, he used to rob safe every year. And every, each year, he planned carefully just what he would do. And each year, he has he planned it carefully. Before robbing uh, someone's safe, he had, he, before robbing something, what we have, what one need to do? One need to plan it, everything is not it. Without planning and all one, if, he, if, he, if one goes to steal something, then he will be caught, it's not it. So he make a plan, very proper plan. He execute a very proper plan. And then he will go to steal money or jewelry, whatever he get it. And and that will last for that whole year. The whole year he will just, he will rob in only that much, which will be enough for the 12 months, for that one year. And again, in the next year, he will again uh, plan something else. Okay, And secretly, he bought that book that he loved with whatever books uh, is coming in the market or is launched in the market that was really, that is going to release in the market. So he just secretly buy those books through an agent, um, very secretly, because people will ask him, no, as he could not afford to buy so expensive books, so how he is managing to get it. So 
he actually buy this book very secretly through a agent clear everyone this two part uh, do you have any confusion here i hope you have not uh, no confusion here as uh, we have come to know in this two section okay so that horace dandy he was a, a good person he is about 60 years old and unmarried person and he lived with a housekeeper and horace dandy he is very healthy person but only he has one problem allergic problem that in summer he have hay fever okay and he is a very successful lock maker his business is to making is to me is to uh, make locks and all and he also have two helpers who actually help him in his work okay so now horace dandy as people as horace dandy's image in front of the society is very different and but he is he is actually a different person a different guy here horace dandy's uh, image in front of the society is a respectful person a good person but actually he is not at all respect uh, not at all honest not so honest person he cannot completely honest and that why actually that can happen as 15 years ago he had actually given he was given a punishment he was sent in the prison and in the prison he has got an opportunity to stay in the library where he has to manage the library and from that day onwards he started liking books so he loved some rare and expensive books and now to buy those books as he loved reading books he had like a very uh, addicted of reading the books so okay? he has become addicted of reading the books and because of that he cannot live without the books he has to buy it. whatever new books uh, comes in the market launched in the market he has to he need that book and for that what he has to do he used what he used to do he used to rob a safe every year and before robbing a safe he has to plan everything carefully just um, plan it properly because before going uh, before planning anything one will not be able to uh, steal the things not he has to see if the uh, if the owner of the house is there or not every windings and all every path and all from which side he can go so everything in and also he has to know it where the actually where the safe is being uh, need so that directly he can go and he can steal the things okay so in that way he used to plan it It's only to buy those expensive books he don't have lots of uh, dreams and all only he need to buy those books and he will only uh, steal only that enough only that much uh, money or jewelry which will be enough for him for that one year only and again the next year he will plan a little bit differently okay and that also he uh, buy those books to an agent very secretly clear everyone okay so i will go to the next part now walking in a bright july sunshine he felt sure that this year's robbery was going to be successful as all others others for two weeks he had been studying the house at shotover grand looking at its rooms its electric wiring its parts and its garden this afternoon the two servants who remained who remained in the grand while the family was in london had gone to the movies hari saw them go and he felt happy in spite of a little tickle of hay fever in his nose he came out from behind the garden wall his tools carefully packed in a bag on his back okay so now what happened now as he was walking in the bright july sunshine it was uh the month of july and it was the sun was shining very brightly he was walking and he was just thinking about this year uh, whatever plan he has made now he was actually very sure very confident about his work and all whatever plans he made he knew that he can he will execute it very perfectly and everything will be successful one like others till that time he was not at all caught by police and all so that that day also as he has actually he has learned about a short over grant a house in short over grant there was a house at a uh, short over grant it is a place so here he was actually reading about that house every uh, he was reading about every rooms every electric wiring the path the garden everything even he read about the family members of the house where they are how, how many uh, member are there at the house so everything he planned it very properly and as he was walking on in that uh, in the road he was just thinking that okay this year 
uh, robbery will also be a successful one for me as like others whatever robbery he has done till then he was not at all caught by police he was very much confident about his work so he has studied all the thing very properly about the short of a grant about its room its electric wiring from where the wiring are being done its part if uh, uh, from the the back part the front part everywhere its garden so everything he learned it very properly now this afternoon he also came to know that this afternoon the two servants who actually uh, look after that uh, house as the family members were not there the family members they were not there they were in london and uh, these two servants who were looking after the house are going to watch a movie this that day they are going to this uh, that afternoon they are going to watch a movie so he knew it he has actually uh, collected the information about this uh, house about the servants that they are going to watch a movie so he thought that okay this will be the right uh, like uh, time to enter the house to steal the things from there because uh, it will take almost 3 to 4 hours the servant will be going to the movie to watch the movie it will take 4 hours 3 or 4 hours so he has to complete his work during that 4 hours he has to completely uh, he has to steal the things and he just come out of the house before that four over so he planned it so he planned it okay this afternoon he will get inside the house as the servants will be going to the uh, watch movie so how is he saw them they just go as they were going and they also know where they have kept the key of the house they just he just watch everything very carefully he watch that the servants have uh, where they have kept the uh, like keys uh, of the house okay the key of the house so uh, he saw them go away and now he doesn't have any problem he's well prepared fully pl uh, the plan is also very much successful one for him and he's well prepared he know that okay this time he's going to uh, like uh, successful at his work but only he has one problem that is the hay fever he used to sneeze every time whenever uh, uh, that fragrance of the flower a flower he gets it he is to sneeze he has some allergy with that flower so he has that problem rather than that he doesn't have any problem he is fully planned and ready to go and steal the house so he came out from behind the garden wall he came out from the behind the garden wall and he didn't enter uh, directly in front of the gate he entered from the garden wall and he has all the tools very carefully packed in the bag because you know what are the things will be needed to Uh, open the safe and all. He will be needed all the tools and all. So he carefully he has kept all the tools in his bag and he is ready for his purpose now. Clear, everyone? Is there any problem? Just reply yes if it is clear. Yes, so that I can go to the another part. Yes, clear. Or as I am saying, the story you are sleeping. Okay. Okay. So many years has come. That means you are clear with it. Okay. Ah. Uh, okay. So now next part. Okay. After that, what happened? There were about fifteen thousand pounds worth of jewel jewels. Okay. Worth of jewels in the Grange safe. If he sold them one by one, he expected to get at least five thousand, enough to make him happy for another year. So now he know that there were about fifteen thousand pounds worth of jewels. Okay, almost fifteen thousand. But he in that Grange safe. And he know that if he will sold them one by one, he will at least get five thousand. That means he will he do not need all the fifteen thousand worth of jewels. He need only five thousand from that. He will not take all the jewels from that. He will take only which is enough for him. Only for that year, whatever books he need for that, he need only five thousand rupees. So he know that he will only take those uh, things which will uh, give him five thousand uh, after selling the jewels. So he just he is ready for his work. He is ready that he will just get five thousand from five uh, thousand worth of jewels from the grand safe. Okay. 
after that there were three very interesting books coming up for a sale in the autumn as it was the autumn time and he came to know he got the information that there were three very interesting books that is coming for the sale that is going to be launched in the market very interesting book and he just need the book he want to read the book now he would get the money he wanted to buy them so now he is very happy that okay he will get the money he was happy that okay i will get 5000 rupees from this grand sale and i will just sell those uh, jewelry i will get my money and i will buy this three books okay so now he is very happy that all his work is going to be successful after that he had seen the housekeeper hang the key to the kitchen door on a hook outside he put on a pair of gloves took the key and opened the door he was always careful not to leave any fingerprints so now he had seen that the housekeeper he, they have hanged the key to the kitchen door on the hook on the hook outside they, he have seen where they have kept the uh, keys of the house okay so now before going there he has put on a pair of gloves because he is very much careful about his work uh he know that uh, if he will just go without the uh gloves there will be fingerprints and when the police will come for the investigation and all he will be caught so he put he has put on the pair on the gloves he has put the gloves and then he took the key sorry key and then opened the door and he was very careful that not to leave any fingerprints anywhere now there a small dog was lying in the kitchen so there in the kitchen there was a small dog it stayed made a noise and moved its tail in a friendly way but the small dog didn't respond very harshly to the uh, to horis then by and even it did not uh, bark at him because we we can see you no know, dogs whenever they see some stranger they started barking at them but here he was not barking he moved he just calm he just made a noise in a very friendly way the uh, dog made a uh, noise when the dog saw Horace then why he just responds it in a friendly way and why this happened okay let's see all right sherry horace said as he passed all you had to do to keep dogs quiet was to call them by their right names and show them love so you see how clever this horace then why was he was so clever he was so careful about his work that he had seen each and everything at the house so he had he know that the house has a he knows that the house Uh, there is a dog at the house so he has actually he has also collected the information about the dog that what his name is and according to horace then by he he say that here he say that if you uh, if you want to keep the dog calm and quiet you should know their name properly if you know their name properly if you just call them by their right names they will show you the love they will not bark at you and the same way Harris then by has done when he said all right sherry that means the dog thought it okay this is not a stranger because he knew he knows my name so that's why uh, he just uh, moved it in a very friendly way he just uh, behave it in a friendly way with Harris then by and he was quiet and calm he was not barking at him and after that now he will what he will do okay so the safe was the safe was in the drawing room behind a rather poor painting horace wondered for a moment whether he should collect pictures instead of books but they took up too much room in a small room books were better so now the safe it was in the drawing room the safe was actually kept in the drawing room so and it was behind the rather poor pen, painting there were many paintings in the drawing room he just saw and okay there are many paintings and even the paintings will cost a lot of amount and for uh, for a moment horus then we as it is look over look uh, around the house uh, around that drawing room he just for a moment he thought that should i collect the pictures instead of this um, books it will be good i think to collect the pictures instead of book and suddenly he realized that no this pictures will take lots of space in the room books are better because books doesn't take lots of space and suddenly he changed his mind not to collect the pictures but to uh, collect books and all okay after that there was a great bowl of flowers on the table and 
Horus felt his nose tickle. He gave a little sneeze. And put and then put them put down his bed. He carefully arranged his tools. He had four hours before the servants returned. Now, uh, as he just was ready for his work, he was getting ready for his work. There was a great ball of flowers on the table. On the table, on in the drawing room, there was a, a big table, and there was a very big, a great ball, and where the flowers were kept. And that was the flower that actually uh, prevent him. That actually gives him some allergic problem. He has an allergic problem, as we have already known. So his nose tickle. Okay, whenever he gets the scent or the fragrance of that flower, he have he find it very uncomfortable. So when he actually got that smell, he found it uncomfortable, and then his nose tickle, and then he gave a little sneeze. He just sneezed, and then again he started his work. He put down his bag, and then he just um, collected all the. He just carefully arranged all the tools. That means whatever tools he will be needed to open the safe. He just took out from the bag and carefully he arranged it, whatever tools he will need. He will do the work very perfectly and he knew that he had only four hours before the servant's return. As the servant will return within four hours, so he has to complete his work within that four hours. So after that, now he has uh, four hours, he has to do, he has to complete his work within that four hours. So now... But he, but something is preventing him from doing the work, and that is that uh, flower, the scent of that flower. He, he has the hay fever, so he is sneezing every time whenever he gets the his nose tickle, and he gave a sneeze. And of course, if he sneezes, that means someone will hear. But of course, there is no one in the house. I think so, as there is no one, so he will have no problem. I think so. Okay. Okay. After that, what happens next? Let's see. If you have any uh, doubts, you just write it down, okay? I'm just explaining line by line. If you have doubt, you write in the comment section. I will repeat the things, okay? In the chat section, you just uh, write it down on the chat section. I will repeat the thing again and again, uh, okay? So now, after that, what happened? As he is preparing uh, to complete his work within the four hours, now the safe was not going to be hard to open. After all, he had lived with locks and safes in all his life. All his life. The burglar alarm was poorly built. He went into the hall to cut its wire. He came back and sneezed loudly as the smell of the flowers came to him again. So now it will not be so hard for him to open the safe because he is a lock maker and he has the whole life he has actually spent uh he has lived with locks and all making locks and safes and also he know how to open the safe it will not be so difficult for him to open the safe and there was a burglar alarm you know what is burglar alarm isn't it the rich people they often you uh they often put some alarm in their very valuable thing so that if anyone hold it there will be a sound and they will know it that something is fishy there okay so they will know it. So that's why rich people, they almost, they always have a alarm on their valuable things and all. So there was a burglar alarm and it was not built very properly. He knew it. He, knew, he knows it. So he has to, at first he has to uh, like cut the wires of that alarm and all. And then only he, has, he will start his working. So he went into the hall to cut its wire. So he went into the hall to cut the wire of that alarm. And... Uh, after cutting the wire of the alarm only, he can actually work. Otherwise, there will be sound and people will know that there is some fishy going inside the house. So, he went into the hall to as he went into the hall to cut the wire. He uh, and he came back and sneezed loudly, and again he sneezed there. As the smell of the flowers came to him again, as the flowers that was kept in the ball that is actually preventing him doing his work. Preventing him from doing the work because he has allergy, as we already have mentioned many times. He has he has allergy uh, with that scent of the flowers. So the smell of the flowers giving him preventing him from doing the work. So as he came back, he sneezed very loudly. How foolish people are when they own valuable things. Horace thought a magazine article had described this house 
giving a plan of all the rooms and a uh, pictures of this room the writer had even mentioned that the painting had a safe now uh, what happened now he was thinking about the people are so foolish the rich people actually are so foolish actually he has he came to know he has come, he has known about this uh, shot of a grinch from uh, an a magazine he has read in the magazine and he is thinking that how these people are so fool that they mention everything about uh, their valuable things in the in the magazine there, there was a magazine article which had described about this horus uh, this uh, shot of a grand and it has given each and every description of the house all giving a plan of each and every rooms of the house the picture of the house and also it also said that a picture with the safe so so he was thinking that these people are so foolish that, that why they actually used to even inform the uh, inform about their valuable things where they have kept so the as from that article only he has he has actually known about this uh, safe that a painting he does say so he knew that wherever that is in which in which or whatever room in which room the paintings are there will be the safe so that's why he came to know and then he thought that these people are so foolish that they just uh, tell everything in, they just write it everything in the magazine they describe everything in the magazine so like uh, without having any problem they do not even think that this this thing may actually uh, be harmful for them okay clear everyone is there any problem in understanding up to here okay so after that now what happened now how he managed to steal the things and all okay but horus found that the flowers were hindering him in his work he buried his face in his handkerchief and horus he found that everything was going on very smoothly but horus found that this flowers are were preventing him to do his work so he just buried his face with with a handkerchief he took a handkerchief he just buried his face he covered his face with a handkerchief and then he started to work then he heard a voice say from the doorway what is it a cold or hay fever and then suddenly a voice uh, from the doorway suddenly someone spoke from the doorway what is it as he sneezed every time someone heard his sneezing and this came and asked him what is it a cold or hay fever and he, before he could think horus said he fever and found himself sneezing again and horus he did not even think whether he take it seriously that someone as he know that no one as he actually had the information that no one was there in the room and he did not even took a time to think about that who was speaking with him and suddenly before he sneezed he told that it's a he fever and then he sneezed again and then the voice went on you can cure it with a special treatment if you, you know if you find out just what plant gives you the disease i think you would you would better see a doctor if you are serious about your work i heard you from the top of the house just now and then the voice speaks uh, uh, speaks with him it says that actually you should actually be little bit serious about your work whatever work like you are stealing you have come to steal here but you should actually know that there some plants give you diseases some plants are giving you diseases some plants are actually stopping you uh, hindering you preventing you to do your work properly so before coming here you should actually uh, if you ha would have gone and see a doctor and uh, and treat your disease then it would be and cure your disease then it would be better one and then it would be better that you would you have uh, you can steal or you can do your work properly so um, the voice just goes on as the voice also know that this person has come this person okay one small which part this part the same part okay i will repeat it one small haris then be then by he was actually just um, making himself ready to steal the safe no to rob the safe and as he was working uh, like he has a burglar alarm he has to cut the wires of the burglar alarm 
and as he has cut the wire as he was, uh, just went uh, in a room to cut the burglar alarm and then came back to the room and then suddenly some the flowers gave him a uh, gave him like uh, the smell of the flower came and he just sneezed loudly and he was just working he was sneezing and then he thought that this uh, flower is disturbing him in his work so what he did he took out a handkerchief and just covered his face covered his face properly and then started working and he was thinking about the rich people that how foolish these people are that they just uh, they just write everything in the magazine as he has also known about the short of a grant from a magazine where Uh, it described about every room, every part, every way. Even it has described about the paintings and also about the safe where the safe was actually made. So he was thinking that these people are so foolish, and he was working uh, of like uh, breaking the safe and all. As he was just working, suddenly there was a boy. Suddenly someone spoke with him, uh, and the boy just said, uh, spoke and told that. Uh, why you did? Why you did not cure your disease before you start any work? As you have come here to steal, but because but your disease is preventing you doing the work. You should actually go to the doctor before you come here. You should so you you should uh, get get a special treatment if you know that which plant is giving you problem, giving you hindering uh, you in your work. Then you should before coming before doing any work, you should actually go to the doctor, and then only you should start your work if you are really serious about your work of stealing and robbing people. So this person, the the one who is speaking, uh, it also the uh, it also knows that this is uh, he is actually he has come, uh, he has entered the house to steal something. Clear, everyone. Or is there any doubt? Okay, this uh, this page, next page, I will complete it, and the other one tomorrow we can complete. Okay, so this page, let's come continue. So now it was who who was that person? No, so let's see. It was a quiet, kindly voice, but one with firmness in it. It was a very. It has a kind voice. The voice that was speaking with Horace Van Wyk. It has a very kind words. But very strict words, okay. But very strictly, it was speaking. She was speaking. Okay, a woman was standing in the doorway, and Sherry was rubbing against her. She was young, quite pretty, and was dressed in red. She walked to the fireplace and straightened the ornaments there. So there, a woman, a woman, very beautiful woman, was actually dressed in a red color. Uh, she has put a red color dress, and she was just standing in the doorway and talking with. Uh, This uh, Horace Denver, but uh, though she was talking in a very kind words, but there was some strictness on her. And then we can also see that Sherry, who was also rubbing against her. So as we know that if uh, that means she was someone, as Sherry was with her, uh, Sherry was actually uh, friendly with her. That means she was also maybe someone of the house. Uh, below, uh, so now she was young girl, quite pretty. So she walked to the fireplace. She straightened the ornament. So she was working. Uh, she was just taking the things in such a way as if she is the owner of the house. Down, Sherry. She said, "Anyone, anyone would think I had been away for a month." She smiled at Horace and went on. However, I came back just in time, though I didn't expect to meet a burglar. And then she was just calming Sherry. Okay, Sherry, just put. Down yourself, put down yourself, and then she was talking with Sherry. Sherry, you know, anyone would have uh, maybe anyone would think that I had been away for a month, and then she just uh, see uh, uh, look at Horace and she just smiled and just talk with uh, talk and just went on her conversation, saying that okay, I come back, I came back just in a time. I came back to find the burglar. To just I didn't expect that there will be someone robbing at my home. But I came came in a very good time that I can find a uh, one. Uh, I, uh, I can actually you no know, nothing can be uh, affected uh, by this person. He could not do anything before I before that I came to my house. So she was talking as if she was the owner of the house. Now Horace he he is totally surprised because Horace till then Horace he knew that 
there was no one at the house. He knew that the family member of the house was in London. Only the servants were there. And as he has collected all the information so properly, then why? Who has who is here? The woman and she was behaving as if she was she is the owner of the house. She was actually taking the thing like she was walking in at the inside the room like a own house without any confusion in her face. So he was totally surprised and also maybe afraid. Horace had some hope because she seemed to be amused at meeting him. But right now Horace he thought that he had some hope that okay he can actually uh, run away from there or this uh, woman would not uh, harm him at any moment because she was um, talking with him in a kind words in a kind voice so she uh, she didn't react suddenly so Horace he thought that okay I I will be safe I will I can save myself from here or I can run away from here or this woman can uh, like this woman may not give me so much trouble so he might avoid trouble if he treated her the right way. He replied, I didn't expect to meet one of the family. And then um, Horace Denby, he was a little bit surprised uh, and also afraid that suddenly a family member of the house was there and he did not even expect to find it. So he, he thought that he will behave, he will just, uh, he will just treat her in the right way. Uh, so that he will not get it into trouble. So he will behave properly with the woman. He will re request her, uh, request her, and then uh, he will just like he will just behave with her, behave with her in a very proper way, so that she will not call the police and all, and he will be safe. So he just replied, "Oh, I didn't actually expect that there will be one of the family member in the house. I did not even thought of that." And then she noted, I see what an inconvenience it is for you to meet me. What are you going to do? So she nodded. Yes, yes, you wouldn't. You have not expected like this. I also see that you are going to do something at my home. And it is for you. Uh, and suddenly you have seen me and you did not even complete. You did not even got the time to complete your work. But but so what reason you are here? What were what you were going to do? So she asked Horace, what you actually why you are you are you have actually came to my home, entered my home, what was the purpose behind that? Then Horace said, My first thought was to run. And Horace said that when I saw you, I suddenly thought to run away from here. Horace said, Horace said, my first thought was to run. So Horace, he thought that he said to her that, okay, as I saw you, as I saw you here, I suddenly thought of running from here. Of course you could do that, but I would telephone the police and tell them all about you. You would get, they would get you at once. And then the girl replied in a very kind word, of course you could have run from here. But you will not get an opportunity to run from here because I will call the telephone. I will. Uh, I would telephone the police. I will call the police and tell them all about you, and they would get you at once. Do you run from here? Do you go anywhere? But they will catch you. Okay, clear, everyone, up to here. I think the other remaining parts we will do tomorrow. We will complete it tomorrow. I hope you have understood the chapter. So till then, we got a. Till then, we came to know that Horace Dunbar, uh, he were, he, whatever plans he has made, he was actually unsuccessful because there was already a member of the house, okay, and uh, he could not steal anything. And after that, what would what uh, uh, what will be their conversation? What they will do? How Horace Dunbar will uh, Horace Dunbar will uh, run away, or how he will save himself, or he will not be able to save himself. So what are the things? Tomorrow we will continue in the uh, in, at the same time. Okay, students, I hope you have understood. If, if there is any doubt, you just write in, uh, you just reply it in the group. Till then, bye.